And your name, sir? Carl Messineo. And Carl, why are you at the rally today? I'm at the rally today here with the Thank You Ed Snowden campaign, which is part of uh, the Partnership for Civil Justice Fund. And we're here to combat the propaganda that's coming out of Washington, D.C., where people are calling Ed Snowden a, a traitor and a fugitive. We know that he's actually a hero, and his, coro his courageous and heroic actions have opened up a debate that is critical for our democracy. We didn't consent. We, the people, did not consent to having our emails scanned by the government. We didn't consent to having our license plates read and put into massive data warehouses. And this is a message of appreciation to Ed Snowden, but it's also a message to the leaders in Washington, D.C. that we do not support this surveillance state. We weren't consented. We were not consulted. We do not consent. And it's a time It's time to put an end to it. Now, Carl, I'm just going to span over and get a little bit of the sign here in appreciation of uh, Edward Snowden. Now, what's his status right now? Well, his status right now is that he's um, on one, he's got one year of political asylum in, in uh, the country of Russia. Um, so he, is, he has freedom of movement and um, apparently uh, is very physically safe there. And he, just for the audience's background purposes, what exactly did he do that he had to end up in Russia? Well, quite courageously, he, while working within the government and working for private contractors that worked with the NSA, he was shocked and outraged at the um, scope of the massive covert surveillance state. And so what he did is he collected classified records and he selectively and carefully disclosed them to the world through journalists in a manner to make sure that national interests aren't harmed, but to force open a debate because he recognized that the Fourth Amendment is violated by this, that democracy is undermined by this, and that something needed to be done. Carl, um, what's going to happen to this guy? If, I mean, if he, if, if he doesn't get renewed over here for another year, he, he, he'll be in limbo. Is that it? Yeah, uh, well, I, I think that right now we're, we're all grateful that he has got a year of, of security, a year of safe refuge. And it's interesting, even though his actions promote democracy, he's not safe here in the United States. He has to look for countries abroad. Yeah, anything else, Carl? I think the critical message here is that we, the people of the United States, did not consent to this. We didn't consent to having our emails read. We didn't consent to this massive state surveillance. It violates the Constitution. It undermines democracy. And we're here to say, no, we oppose the surveillance state. Thanks so much, Carl.